This is Duke University. For me, the biggest lesson is humility. We do lots of experiments, and very often we find that we're wrong. Which of these two towers of Pisa look like they're leaning more to the right? Dan Ariely is such a huge name in behavioral economics, and there was so much buzz about the class going in. I believe fresh new ideas can really help solve a city's problems. People want their garbage collected, and that's what we're here to do. Over the last few years, we have phased in the use of automated trucks to collect garbage. The new trucks we have, they're side loaders, also known as uh, one-armed bandits. One man on the truck versus two to three on a rear loader. A lot of residents are not used to them, so they're not being compliant to separating their cans and having their, their handles facing toward their home. So we have to get out and move the can, pick up loose trash, cans that are too close to mailboxes. Sometimes they're under low-hanging tree branches. Sometimes cars are blocking. Almost 50% of the single-family homes in Fayetteville are rental homes. It's a re-education process all the time for us. It's ongoing and forever. Getting out of the truck once or twice is not a problem, but whenever you have to get out 100 times in a subdivision, that makes up a lot of lost time. The problem in Fayetteville is a pretty classic one. Um, people generally have limited uh, attention, which means that we fail to consider small details, like just which direction the can should be facing, whether it's close to the mailbox or something like that. People just don't realize their own collective impact of the behavior. We fail to consider if everyone on the block does their can wrong and what that collective impact means and, and just what a drain on resources that is. We need to be as efficient as we can. We need to make sure that the residents are getting their money's worth from all their tax dollars. We were given the opportunity to work with students at Duke University in a partnership that would give them some practical experience and give us some behavioral expertise. Often a lot of what we do is theoretical classroom work and we're writing papers, but actually being able to work with a client and being able to help them solve a problem that was really important to them. I loved the whole process of bouncing ideas off of them and, and really getting to a successful solution. We tested two interventions in Fayetteville. The first was a personalized letter that was addressed to the resident from the trash collector, and the second was a sticker that went on the trash bin that displayed some of the rules about trash collection. The study allows us to see if behavior has changed based on whether they received a letter, they received a sticker, or they received both. We found that stickers alone were really helpful in increasing compliance with the trash collection rules. Finding these little ways to help nudge people in the right direction uh, makes everyone better off. We're really happy that, you know, we, we got to give them that solution. We saw something that actually worked. Inserting that innovation in and using behavioral economics to solve this problem was, was very interesting. 